September 28, 2014 from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It was the Buffalo Bills at the Houston Texans. And the Bills won the toss and elected to receive, but they would end up punting on their first possession, and so would the Texans as these two teams traded punts back and forth through the first quarter. Buffalo would get the ball with a little under three minutes left in the first eventually and bring the quarter to a close and open up the second on the Houston 33 as they were within field goal range. They made it into the red zone all the way to the eight-yard line, but a penalty on third and six would make it third and 11, and an incomplete pass would bring out Dan Carpenter as he kicked a 31-yard field goal to make it 3 to nothing Buffalo. Houston then took over with a little over 11 and a half minutes left before halftime, and then on the fourth play of their possession, Ryan Fitzpatrick found Andre Johnson for a short pass, but then Johnson fumbled as Cersei recovered after Spikes forced the fumble, so the Bills would take back over, and they had the ball now with a little less than 10 minutes before halftime, and eight plays later, E.J. Manuel found Sammy Watkins for a five-yard touchdown pass, and it was now 10 to nothing as Buffalo was up by two scores early. Houston now had the ball with about six minutes left before halftime. And they turned the ball over for the second straight possession. This time it was an interception. It's for Fitzpatrick was intercepted by McLevin. So now Buffalo had the ball back. They would end up punting. And Houston got the ball back with about three and a half minutes left before halftime. And they had the ball on their own 20. And they drove 80 yards in eight plays, capped off by a 35-yard touchdown from Fitzpatrick to Hopkins as Houston got on the board and the score was now 10 to 7 Buffalo so the Texans trail by a field goal Buffalo would end up bringing the half to a close as this game went to halftime with the Bills up by 3 10 to 7 over Houston then on the first play of the second half the Buffalo Bills would intercept Ryan Fitzpatrick as the Texans Turned the ball over for their third consecutive drive going back to the second quarter. As Fitzpatrick was intercepted for the second consecutive time on possessions. This time it was Bradham. So Buffalo would take over. But then three plays later, the Texans returned the favor. As J.J. Watt intercepted E.J. Manuel and ran it back 80 yards for the touchdown. So J.J. Watt with a pick six. And the score was now 14 to 10 Texans over Buffalo as they were now in the lead by four points. Buffalo would go three and out on their next drive and the Texans took over with about 12 and a half minutes left in the third. And they would drive all the way down into Buffalo territory all the way to the red zone. Their drive would stall though. They would end up kicking a 41 yard field goal as Bullet came in and it was now a seven point lead for the Texans at 17 to 10 over Buffalo. So Buffalo now had the ball with a little over six minutes left in the third, and they would end up punting on their drive and giving the ball back to the Texans, who would bring the third quarter to a close and open up the fourth, where they would end up punting. So now Buffalo got the ball back and went three and out once again, and so would the Texans on their next drive, as did the Bills again for a second consecutive drive. And now Houston had the ball with a little under 11 minutes left in this game, and they had the ball on the Buffalo 44 after these teams had been training punts. And the buff, they wouldn't get anywhere. And Bullock would come out and he kicked a 55-yard field goal to make it 20-10 to 10 as the Texans extended their lead to 10 points. But then on the first play of Buffalo's next possession, E.J. Manuel found Mike Williams for an 80-yard touchdown. They cut the lead to 3 as the score was now 20-17. to 17 as the Texans had just the lead by a field goal in the ball with nine minutes left. They would march all the way down to field goal range, and Bullock would kick his second straight 50-plus yard field goal, this one from 50 yards exactly, and that made the score 23-17 to Texans, as they now had a six-point lead. So now Buffalo got the ball with less than five minutes left, trailing by six, needing a touchdown. But they ended up going three and out as the Houston Texans defense came up big and they forced the punt. And now the Texans offense would take over with the lead in less than four minutes left in the game. 
they would end up punting, but they burned enough clock to where there was less than two minutes left as Buffalo took over for their final possession of the game. And five plays into the possession, E.J. Manuel was intercepted by Morris, and that would all but bring the game to a close as all that was left to do was for Fitzpatrick to take two knees as the game came to a close with the final score, 23-17, to as the Texans beat the Buffalo Bills and improved their record to 3-1, and one, and the Bills are now 2-2. Two and two. And in this game, Ryan Fitzpatrick was 25 for 37 with 268 passing yards, one touchdown and two interceptions. E.J. Manuel was 21 for 44 with 225 passing yards, two touchdowns and two interceptions. The leading rusher in the game was C.J. Spiller with 60 yards off of 15 carries. The leading receiver in the game was Mike Williams with 84 yards off of two receptions, one for a touchdown. Andre Johnson had 71 yards off of six receptions. And DeAndre Hopkins had 64 yards off of five receptions as well as a touchdown. Cushing had nine tackles for the Texans. And Brown had nine tackles for the Bills. Of course, interceptions with the name of this game is each team got two interceptions. McLevin and Bradham each had an interception for Buffalo. And Morris and Watt each had interceptions for Texans. J.J. Watt's interception was a pick six, and that was the difference in this game. The Houston Texans improved their record of 3-1, and, and since 1991, 65% of the teams that start off the season 3-1 and one made the playoffs. So the Texans are looking pretty good right now as they improve their record and are in first place in their division, the AFC South. The Buffalo Bills are now 2-2. Two and two. The final score here is 23 to 17 Texans over Bills.